thank you for joining me here today. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene. And today we're going to be reviewing the Chanel Wallet on Chain. So if you're interested to see my thoughts and opinions on this bag, then let's get straight into this video. Here is the Chanel Wallet on Chain, or Walk for short. So this is it. This is my walk that I purchased back at the beginning of July, right before, literally the day before, the Chanel increased the prices. So I purchased this for $500 cheaper than what it is today. So here is my bag. We have it in caviar leather with the gold hardware. I specifically wanted this combination of leather and hardware because I have my mini rectangle, which I have in the black lambskin with silver hardware. So I wanted something a little bit more durable and I wanted gold hardware because I have switched over to wearing more gold jewelry. So yeah, really, really am loving this bag so far. So I'm just going to get straight into the pricing and dimensions. So this bag is priced at 3,550 Canadian dollars plus taxes. So it has gone up like $500, I'm pretty sure, since the last price increase for the exact same product, which is really unfortunate for people who are trying to save up and trying to get one. Um, but the price just keeps jumping higher and higher. So in terms of dimensions, I have them written in front of me down here. It measures 19.2 centimeters across, 12.3 centimeters in height, and then three and a half centimeters in depth. Or if you want to do this in inches, it is 7.6 inches across, 4.8 inches out, up and down, and then uh, 1.4 inches in depth. So it is quite a small compact bag. A lot of people consider this like a small leather good or an SLG, but I personally use this as a handbag because I do like small handbags. I don't like to carry a ton of things with me on a daily basis. So this bag has been working perfectly for that. Now moving on, I'm going to talk about like the different features of the bag, show you kind of like a full 360 of the bag. So again, I've showed you guys the front of this already. The side looks like this. The chain is attached on the inside flap there. It does have the signature Mona Lisa pocket on the back here. The other side. And if I were to show you the bottom, it looks like this. I don't know. You can probably tell I do have a base shaper at the bottom of this bag. If I didn't have the base shaper, it would look a little bit different. So I'll show you guys that a little later on. And then the top of the bag just looks like this. Nothing crazy. Now let's go into the strap here since it's already hanging out. This strap is this chain and leather interwoven together. In one of my videos that I'm going to post either before or after this, I don't remember which, but I do compare the chains between this bag and the mini rectangle. And you'll see that there is a difference between the two. This one is slimmer and thinner and daintier. So it is a thin chain leather strap and I do love this strap. It is almost like jewelry. I love how pretty and dainty it is. And the fact that of course it goes with all of my jewelry right now, besides like my rings, I love it's just it's beautiful um, in terms of the interior let's take a look inside I'm going to open it up it features a magnetic closure at least in the newer version I know that in the older versions before they kind of redesigned it a little bit and added some like different features this clasp was kind of like this push down button clasps which I know some people complained about so they changed it to a very strong magnetic one where it closes very seamlessly and has pretty good grip inside we have a front flap right here great for easy access if you have parking stubs things like that receipts you want to keep track of behind that you have a zipper compartment it might be hard to tell right there zipper compartment which I, if I open it up it just looks like that on the inside this is the newer version so inside here I have the chip that instead like that replaced the whole um, authenticity card so yeah this is my first piece from Chanel that has the chip in it so that's where that that's what that thing is and that's where it's located at least in this bag it still has the sticker on it actually so it's not scratched the interior as you can see is a, like a burgundy color 
Behind this zip pocket, we have another like a pocket, a flat pocket, which is again that same cloth material in the burgundy color. The back side of that is actually leather so it's a like a burgundy leather lined which then leads us to the actual compartment of the bag itself you can see my bag shaper or base shaper at the bottom right there and then on this back panel here we have six card slots three per column which then leads us to this last bit here which is this compartment this is a lot of people say they where uh, coco chanel kept her love letters so that's the purpose of it i guess what it was designed for I love this part because it actually reaches all the way down. I do show you this in another one of my videos, but my fingertip reaches down to here. So this compartment goes quite a ways down. It's great for storing extra cash if you're carrying a decent amount of cash on you. If you're traveling and you're carrying your passport around with you, it's good to have it in here where you know it's not easily lost and it can't easily fall out. So I do love this pocket. It is very convenient and very secure and then yeah that's about it for the inside of this bag as you can see the chain is attached to this part right here you cannot pull on it it will not weave through as far as i'm aware the older version where they had that push button for the closure this part of the bag where it weaves through the chain you could actually weave this chain through and through it's like a full circle you keep pulling and pulling and it just goes through this one you cannot pull so as i'm as far as i'm aware like they changed that on this new design but yeah this bag it, this is all that there is to it now if i were to take out my bag base shaper i don't know why i keep saying bag shaper it's a base shaper if i were to take it out i'll just show you what it looks like uh, I got mine from a company from Etsy, so I'll leave that down in the description bar below. One thing that I love about this bag is the way that it folds. It makes it very easy to pack away for travel. So I did bring this with me to vacation, on a vacation, and I was able to pack it up nice and flat, didn't worry about damaging the bag, put it in its dust bag, put it inside of my carry-on luggage, and I was able to bring it to me to my destination. When I arrived there, I was able to stick my base shaper inside and I was ready to go and I used this all the time. Used it day, night, wherever I went. It was a great, convenient option for me and it was very carefree. I never had to worry if it was going to rain and I had to change my bag out and there was vachetta leather or lambskin leather, anything like that. I never had to worry. So I loved that about this bag. So again, this is what the bag looks like closed up with the base shaper inside. As you can see, the base shaper really helps it open up. It doesn't stretch it to the point where it's going to, you know, damage the bag or the leather, but it does open it up to its full potential. So you can really fit things inside that are maybe a little bit larger. So let's go ahead and jump inside the bag and I'll show you guys what I usually put inside this bag on a day-to-day -day basis. So opening it up, I have my key holder here, which what I usually do is I don't usually carry this key holder or card holder inside of this bag just because it's a little bit redundant when there's card slots built in. So what I will do is I will take some of my essential cards. So I'll just take a few cards out of here for demonstration purposes. I'll just have some gift cards that way no confidential information is available <laughs> so uh i will take typically it's like three to four cards that i usually have on me all the time so it's usually like my two credit cards my id maybe my healthcare card so then i'll stick them into this back card slots like i said i usually don't need all of them because it's there's six of them and I don't really need that many. So just sticking those in right now so that you guys can see. So there's my cards right in the card slot at the back, very convenient. And then what I will do is I will take my keys if I'm driving, a lot of times I'm not driving because my husband's driving, but there are days when I go someplace without him or he's working or whatever. So I will take my keys, I will detach it from this ring here and I'll just take my keys and my house keys and I will stick that in here, right into the compartment. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I've got my keys, I've got my cards. Um, next thing would be hand sanitizer. So I've had hand sanitizer right here from Bath and Body Works. Stick that in there, so it looks like so. Now, I have a few options when it comes to my cell phone. So my cell phone right here, 
uh, sorry, it's greasy. <laughs> I like to either, it depends on what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a dress and it doesn't really have pockets, I will need to make extra room in this bag, carry a few less extra items, and just put this inside, make sure I have room for it. However, if I'm wearing like jeans like I am today, then I can easily put this in my back pocket and that leaves me with more room in here to carry other essentials that I might potentially need. So one other thing that I for sure always carry with me is some sort of lip gloss because my lips get really dry. I need some sort of hydration. So this one's my all time favorite. I'm sure if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you guys know by now, I talk about this every time. This is my Dior Lip Maximizer in the beige color, 013. It is my all time favorite lip gloss. So I will always have usually one of these in here and it fits in there perfectly as you can see. And then if I'm wearing white like I am today, I might just decide to carry like a tie to go with me to play it safe. I might decide to bring an eye drop in there. And then I usually always have one of these um, spoolies with me because I do have eyelash extensions. So in case they're out of place, then I have one of these. And what I will do is I will usually put this guy in the zip compartment. So I will open up that zip compartment and stick this guy in there. Let me just, this is hard to do. Okay, stick that in there. Another thing that I always bring with me if I'm carrying this bag or if I'm carrying my other Chanel mini rectangle, what I will do is I will bring this guy. If you don't know what this is, boy oh boy, you need to get yourself one of these if you own any sort of Chanel flap that has like the chain straps that are not adjustable. This here, I was able to get from my Chanel SA. Um, it's basically one of these uh, hooks, clasps, I don't know what you call them, D-link almost. Um, and it opens up like this, okay? And what you can do is you can adjust the straps of the Chanel bag using this. So I actually have a whole video dedicated to how you can adjust the Chanel chain length. So I will leave that video up in the description or up in the cards above. So you can go ahead and check that out. But yeah, I always bring this little gadget with me because you never know if halfway through the day you want to shorten the strap and wear it in a slightly different way because your arms or your shoulders or whatever get tired although this is a very small bag anyways but yeah i like to bring this with me so it comes in this little felt package which is really nice so i'll stick that again in the zipper pot compartment here because i don't want to lose it and then i will also bring a hair tie in that compartment zip up that compartment and the Perhaps the last thing I would bring with me is maybe oil blotting sheets if it's a summertime where I maybe get a little bit more oily. And what I will do is I will stick this in this slot right here. And that is basically like all the things I will need. And then it sh closes with the snap of that magnetic closure and it's all in there. So. This is me carrying a decent amount. A lot of times I don't need like the eye drops. I don't need to bring like an additional hand sanitizer because I have hand sanitizer in my car. And typically wherever you go, generally they have hand sanitizers readily available. So if I wanted to, let's say, put my phone in there because I'm wearing a dress, then what I will do is I will potentially take out my hand sanitizer. I will potentially take out, actually, Maybe even my eye drops. Maybe I'll find a smaller bottle because this is one of my bigger bottles of eye drops. So if I can find a smaller one, I'll stick that in there in its place. And then that leaves me room. As you can see, there's room in there now. Now that leaves me room to put in my phone. So if I stick this in there. Is it going in? There it is. All right. Hold on. Sometimes you do have to play a little bit of like Tetris in here um, and kind of figure things out. If it's really being a pain in the butt, I might even take out this guy and just stick this in my car instead. And again, just stick that back in and there we go. You know what it is? It's my keys. My keys are being a pain. There we go. Actually, if you place things in the correct position, so I have my keys in front of my phone, the Dior lip thing is there. So technically I have this whole gap here I can fill. I could put, I don't know, like my hand sanitizer, maybe not. It's a little bit bulbous. I could maybe put the eye drops back in, yeah, and it could close up, potentially, maybe not. Something a little slimmer, 
So, okay, this is not going as smooth as I thought. So maybe I could put in, oh yeah, there we go. So in here, finally, I figured it out. So I have my car keys and my house key. My phone is in the back right here. I've got my Dior lip glow here, uh, or lip maximizer, and then I have that stick of uh, tie to go. That is generally all I will need, and it will close in here. There we go. And it is all in there ready for me to go out. But yeah, this bag, it does carry a lot. And considering like if you don't want to put your phone in there, you can carry so much more, depending also how big your phone is. My phone is the iPhone 11 Pro. Yeah, iPhone 11 Pro, it's not the Pro Max. The Pro Max is what my husband has and it's like literally massive. So if you have like a really large phone, maybe I would just avoid putting that in here because then that just like uses all the space unless you really don't have anything else you need to carry. On days where I'm not driving, I don't need to bring my keys then I can bring in an extra item or two. But really like I just carry the necessities and that's all I do. I absolutely love this bag. It is well designed, well thought out. Lots of compartments. Considering how small it is, it has a decent amount of organization in there. The card slots are great. The zipper compartment and then the two front flaps, which honestly, I always forget that they're there, but they're great for when there are times when I do need to um, carry some receipts and things like that that I need to keep for like whatever tax purposes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is what is inside. I'll just take things out now because I like to keep my bag empty when I'm not using them. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually adjust the chain. So again, I am referring to this link thing here. I have found versions of it. You don't have to get it from Chanel. You don't have to get it from an essay. You can easily purchase this off of Amazon and it works just as well. Mine just happens to be from Chanel because my essay gave it to me. So the chain link strap on the walk is a little bit smaller than the other chain links on the other classic flaps. For example, like the mini rectangle, the regular classic flaps, their chains are a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. So you just have to wiggle it a little bit more to try to get the link in. So here's what I do. When I am wearing this bag crossbody, having it at its full length works, but I still find it hangs a little lower than I would like. For reference, I am about 5'4". I've been telling everyone in my previous videos that I'm 5'3", but I recently measured myself because my mom made me, and it turns out I'm actually like 5'4", so I'm sorry, it's an inch off. So yeah, 5'4", for reference, and when I wear this just with the full length of the strap that it comes with, it does work just a little bit long, longer than I would prefer. So what I like to do is I will shorten this strap. Now, the way that I shorten this bag is slightly different than the way I shorten the mini rectangle just because the mini rectangle is designed slightly differently. The strap itself is very similar. The only difference is the way that it's attached to the bag is very different. So this bag here is attached through here, this little tunnel of leather that is wrapped around and you can't move it around. So what I do for this bag is I will grab, I will pick one side. Typically I pick this side of the bag. Reason being is because when this bag is closed, all the zippers are closed, so this zipper here and this zipper is closed, both of these pieces of hardware are on the right hand side of the bag. I don't want to add another chunk of metal here so when I close the bag it might become lopsided or something. So what I do is I pick this left hand side of the bag. I will grab a chunk of uh, the strain, the, the chain, strap and chain, the strain. I will grab a chunk of the chain and I will hook this link. Uh, this one doesn't really match the the hardware but you can't see it so it doesn't really matter these do come in gold and silver on amazon but yeah so what i will do is i will pick one link to hook so you see i've hooked it to this one so i still i'm gonna then shorten it by linking the other half of the link to the other end of the chain okay so here is what i mean so i've taken that link and i've looped through two chain links to make this extra loop. This will just sit inside the bag. So yeah, it just tucks into the bag like so, into the edge of the bag, and you have yourself a shortened strap. And you see it is definitely shorter, you can't even tell. I like doing it this way because 
then when you open the bag it still maintains the length of the strap. There are some people, or even essay, sometimes they tell you that you can shorten it one other way, so I'm gonna quickly show you. I find the second way that they like show you is not a very um, practical method. So one other way that they usually say that you can do is you can wrap this underneath here, take this side, wrap it underneath, so that you have the crisscross, uh oh, how do I show you this? So you have the crisscrossing like this underneath, so that way it shortens the strap. Technically, it does work, like absolutely, it shortens the strap by quite a bit. Problem is, there's not a whole lot of um, variety in terms of the length, like this is literally the only length you have, or the full length. The other thing is, what happens when you open up the bag? It comes undone. It literally like just comes falling out. So I find that this method is not practical. How are you supposed to open the bag? Are you just supposed to carry the bag and not use it all day for, for fear of like the whole strap getting all messed up? I just prefer using the link, this gadget, this gizmo right here. It is a lifesaver, especially if you're a short girl like me and these chain lengths are not friendly for us. <laughs> so. I honestly think this bag is really well worth the money. This is being priced at, again, $3,550 Canadian dollars right now, plus taxes. If you think about it, I actually think this carries almost as much as a mini rectangle. Obviously, it's not quite as big in the width here. The mini rectangle is about six centimeters. This is three and a half. So there is a noticeable difference, but Realistically, if you think about price-wise, there's a $1,750 price difference between this one and the mini rectangle. I find that this bag is really well worth the price. It's such a beautiful classic bag to have. It's so versatile, so functional, and very carefree. I can't stop raving about this bag, and I'm sorry if I seem a little bit biased, but I am absolutely biased because ever since I purchased this bag a couple months ago, I've been non-stop reaching for it and using it daily almost. It's been great on travel days, it's been great when I'm home and I'm just going out for shopping, errands, especially shopping because it's hands-free and it just carries your essentials. So I highly, highly recommend this bag. It is, I can't say enough good things about it, honestly speaking. It's one of my favorites right now. And at the end of the day, it's a Chanel. So it's there's just something special about it. There you have it. There is my two month review, first impression of the Chanel wallet on chain. As you can see, I am absolutely in love and I hope you guys found today's video somewhat helpful. If you guys did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to join our community here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me here today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!